oh, this desk is never the way I like it. It's got to look a little messier like I've been working hard. Oh. Hi, kids. Sal here. Sally's got the day off, and I'm in charge. Sal, not the dentist, me. Sal's in charge. Today, kids, we're talking about metal. And a guy knows metal. There's metal in this chair. There's metal here in the dental equipment. In fact, there's metal in the plate in my head. And you know what metal reminds me of? Metal reminds me of war. Oh, not the card game. No, get that out of your head. War, men against men, fighting men. And war, when I think about war, I think about the war I was in. I'm a, war, I'm a veteran of the, was it the Civil War? The Revolutionary War. I think it was the War of the Roses. We fought with Napoleon. Anyway, when I think of war, I think of the sea and the warships and big boats battling it out on the sea. And that's what we're talking about here at WFET today. We're talking about warships. Urgh. So today, WFET, warships in battle. Take it away. Jesus, because he loves me, but doesn't like the sin that I do. So it keeps me from sinning sometimes. God, because um, he gave Jesus so that we can um, be in heaven soon. Natalia, um, she always helps me when I have problems and I could always talk to her. Uh, Probably my brother or my sister because I'm always close to them. They never leave my side. They're always nice to me. Call your shot. Today on Call Your Shot, the receptionist is going to try to make as many paper clips in a line as she can in one minute. How many paper clips do you think she can do in one minute? One, 10, 20? Shh, here she goes. Count them out with me. One. Here she goes. Two. Lightning speed now. Four. And five. Can she do some more? Six. Ah, there's lucky number seven. And eight. Ah, that's it. Eight in one minute. Amazing. Incredible. What a secretary. That's right. Be proud of it. Now, how many can she make 
in five seconds. Shout it out now. How many you think? Worship is where you stand up and move your hands. Some people get on your knees and you just worship God. Worship is praying to God and telling Him that you love Him and that you know He is there and you know He'll answer. Um, it's where you just get, um, don't even think about, even if there's no song or anything, it's just being with God and, just with God, nobody else, but just think about God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit sees with us. Worship is when you get get with a group or by yourself and you don't have to have music, but you can and you just only think about him, not the person next to you. Or Hi there, Space Pig here. You may know me from the other episodes. That's right. Oh, hold on, let me try that again. Hi there. Space Pig here. You may know me from the other episodes. That's right. I'm here for Dr. Gene Tips. Yeah, he couldn't make it today. I, well, I'll tell you the story later, maybe. We're here for today's Gotta Know It. And the Gotta Know It today is worship is showing God how much you love him. Who thinks they can say that with me? Boys, do you think you can? Girls, how about you? All right, let's all try it together. One, two, three. Worship is showing God how much you love him. Now, I have a feeling because I always invade Gene Tips show that he might invade mine. So if you see him, if you could go ahead and shout out peanut butter and jelly. Yes, that's right. If you shout out peanut butter and jelly, I'll know that he's on the screen. All right, let's go over today's Gotta Know It today. It says, worship is showing God how much you love him. What, do you see him? Do you, do you see him? Do you see him? Do you see him? Is he here? Is he here? Is he here? Is he here? Lucky dentist. All right, let's go over the gotta know it one more time before he shows up again. It says, worship is showing God how much you love him. Hey, hey, yeah, you in the front, were you saying it? Yeah, you know you, I'm looking at you. Let's say the gotta know it one more time. It says, worship is showing God how much you love him. What, do you guys see him? You, is he here? Is he here? God, Dr. Gene Tips. Uh, is he here? Lucky dentist. Let's try it one more time. The gotta know it for today says, worship is showing God how much you love him. And now Space Pig says, are you gonna worship? Are you gonna show God how much you love him? Or are you just going to sit there? The Bible says if we don't show God how much we love him, even the rocks cry out. That's right. I've never heard a rock cry out myself. And I'm a space pig. <coughs> Let's go over today's Gotta Know It one more time. It says, worship is showing God how much you love him. This is Space Pig. I'll see you next week. Well, I'm definitely not in the same place again this time. Seems like there's kind of heavy breathing going on around here somewhere. But we'll to let you figure that out and see if you can today where I am. Because I'm not here to figure out where I am. I'm here to tell you the memory verse for this week. Everyone ready? Why doesn't everyone stand up? Stand up. That's right. Everyone stand up. Everyone stand up. 
Our memory verse today comes from John chapter 4. And then we're going to keep that up because we're going to come back and say John chapter 4, 24. See how I did that? I had 4 up. And then I moved it, moved it over, put that tw 2 in front of it, and that makes 24. Okay? John 4, 24. Okay? John 4, 24 says, God is spirit. And I'm going to let you figure out your own motions for spirit. Okay? It says, God is is spirit and those who worship God who is that who worships God that's right it's us so God is spirit and those who worship God must be led we're gonna go ahead and have somebody be the leader hi I'm the leader and I'm the follower okay must be led by the Spirit to worship Him. Okay? Now that was a lot, so we'll break that down a little bit. It says John 4, 24. It says God is Spirit, and those who worship God must be led by the Spirit. Spirit to worship him. Not a long verse, but let's try to make sure we get it right. Try it one more time. Ah, let's try it two more times. Here it goes. It goes. It says John 4 24. God is spirit, and those who worship God, that's us, must be led by the Spirit to worship Him. Alright? So, because God's Spirit, we have to be led by His Spirit to worship Him. Okay? That means it's not us. We don't have any of us. We have to die to the things that we say and have, uh, have His Spirit lead us. Let's try it one more time. It says, John 4 20 Four. God is spirit, and those who worship God must be led by the Spirit to worship Him. Everyone got that? Well, we'll see where I am next week, and uh, we'll see you then. Bye-bye. Sometimes at night, I'll just have to think about God until I just go to sleep. Without no music, I'll just, just think of God and Jesus and how he saved us. My hands around in the air. Every night before I go to bed, I kneel, kneel and pray to God. I like to raise my hands or, or close my eyes or just keep them open. And, it's Bible time. Illustrations courtesy of the Brick Testament. After these things, God tested Abraham's faith. God just said to him, Abraham, and he answered, Here I am. Then God said, Take your son Isaac, the son you love, and go to the land of Moriah. Kill him there on the mountain. Abraham got up early in the morning and saddled his donkey. He took Isaac and two servants with him. On the third day, Abraham looked up and saw the place in the distance. He said to his servants, Stay here with the donkey. My son and I will go over and worship and then come back to you. Abraham took the wood for the sacrifice and he gave it to his son. Isaac said, Father, we have the wood, but where is the lamb? God himself will provide the lamb, my son. So Abraham and his son went on together and they came to the place God had told them about. 
Abraham built an altar there, and he laid the wood on it, and then he tied up his son Isaac and laid him on the wood. Then Abraham took the knife and was about to kill his son. But the angel of the Lord called out, Abraham, Abraham, yes, do not kill your son or hurt him in any way. Now I can see that you trust God and that you have not kept your son from me. Then Abraham looked and saw a male sheep caught in a bush by its horns. So Abraham went and took the sheep and killed it. He offered it as a whole burnt offering to God, and his son was saved. So Abraham named that place the Lord provides. Even today people say, on the mountain of the Lord it will be provided. I'm at church. Before I go to bed. At church, at home, sometimes my mom puts these um, flags in my room and I worship with them. They're her worship flags. Um, I do it at church and then sometimes I'll just kind of think about God and that will be just like worship to me anytime. Um, some people can sing and you could just get together and worship. Well, you just lift your hands or just keep them down and think about it or you can sing without music. Which, if you got the right tune, you can sing pretty good. By praying and going to church and yeah. Just think about him. Just um, ignore everything around you, all the distractions. Just think about him and how good he is to you and what he did for you because he's a great God. Hi kids, I'm here with the um, dental fact of the day. That's right. Now, last week we talked about the longest tongue being 3.86 inches. And I know a lot of you wrote in and phoned me and said, well Gary, I wanna know what the biggest tooth ever has been. So, I looked it up and the actual biggest tooth was four miles wide by four miles long. That's right. Now, I mean, you'd think that would be hard to put in someone's mouth, but it's actually true that the, the first, the biggest tooth was four miles wide by four miles long. That's right. Look it up for yourself. You can. I also want to remind you to make sure that we worship God that we don't put people down, that we use our tongues, our mouths, our vocal cords, all those things to worship God. And you know what? When we say good things about people, that's part of worship also. It's not just singing. It's um, telling people what's good about themselves. It's encouraging people like we talked about last week. The Bible says, remember, that we use our tongues to worship God and curse men but we should really only use it, that's right, to worship God. Yeah, you got it.